Hi, and welcome to the first chapter reading on the Miss Clark's Class channel. I'm Julie Packett, author of the Chronicles of Miss Clark's Class. Today we'll be reading the first book in the series, in chapter one of Science Night. Let's begin. The first chapter is called Classroom Duties, narrated by Julie. Each school year has a first day, a day where you meet new faces, spot familiar faces, and try not to make nervous faces. This year, I have Miss Clark, a teacher who likes to give all her work to her students. Last year's fifth graders said she assigned each student a classroom job. Some jobs are noble, like line leader, flag helper, or message carrier. I'm hoping I get germinator, the classroom's first line of defense against cooties. But I'll probably get a job that makes everyone hate me like table monitor. Who wants to tell their friends they can't talk during lunch? Not this girl. The bell rings and I head to my new classroom. Miss Clark, who is standing in front of the room, cheerfully says, good morning, fifth graders. Are you ready for an exciting school year full of new experiences? She can't fool me. I know new experiences really means work, work, and more work. I search each desk for my name and finally find it on a second row desk next to the window, the perfect spot. An envelope labeled classroom duties sits on my new desk. We all know what's coming next. She's about to assign us her jobs. Now class, says Miss Clark, we are going to have a busy year and I can use your help. In each envelope is a classroom duty that you will be responsible for each day. When I call your name, please come to the front of the class, share something about yourself and tell us your classroom duty. Julie, you're up first. I have to go first. I slowly stand and feel my knees buckle. I make my way to the front of the classroom and see 14 pair of eyes staring at me, eagerly waiting to hear my horrible new job. I softly say, hi, I'm Julie. I'm fiddling with my fingers and crinkling the envelope. I try to stop. Something about me? I pause with all those eyes still glued to my face. Well, I'm currently the hula hoop champion in my family. A boy with orange hair interrupts. How long can you hula? My longest time is 37 seconds, but my little sister always tries to steal the hoop, so I know I can go longer. I can also hula hoop on my arm and my foot, I say as my classmates let out a collective gasp of approval. Miss Clark says, that's quite impressive, Julie. We would love to see you hula hoop one day. I feel less nervous and somewhat proud. I almost forgot about the envelope in my hands. I carefully open the envelope and pull out a note card. After a brief pause, I slowly read, I'm the classroom weather reporter. Excellent, says Miss Clark. That's a very important job. We have an old weather station set up outside our school. You can see it from this window. Miss Clark points past my desk to a pile of what looks like junk to me. It tracks temperature, wind speed, and direction, and you can read the data from my computer. In addition, a rain gauge captures all the rain that has fallen in the past 24 hours. Your job, Julie, will be to read and empty the gauge each morning before coming into the classroom. I will also give you special permission to use my computer so you can get the current temperature and wind data too. We will start each class with your morning weather report of temperature, wind, and rainfall. Do you think you can handle that? I can't tell Miss Clark no thanks. I'd rather be the classroom germinator. Weather reporter seems like quite a commitment. She expects me to get to school early every day just to see how much rain fell and worse, speak in front of the class. Just thinking about reciting all those numbers in front of everyone makes me feel queasy. So that's it for chapter one. What kind of words would you use to describe how Julie feels? Nervous? Scared? Maybe anxious? Have you ever felt that way before? I know I have, even as an adult. In fact, I wrote the character Julie just thinking about how I would have felt in that situation. I'd love to hear from you too. Leave comments below. Let me know how you would have felt if you were assigned the role as classroom weather reporter. 
Make sure you click to subscribe, give me a thumbs up so that I know I'm doing all right, and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future chapter readings. Next time, we'll read chapter two and we'll actually meet a new classmate. But in the meantime, class dismissed.